today, you guys. Overnight parts from Japan. What's going on, you guys? So excited. In this little box, it's probably one of the most needed part a GTR needs. Whether you track it, well, honestly, you know what, you guys? Every GTR is gonna get tracked, whether it's legit on a track or in the streets. It's gonna get tracked, you guys. So this week's vlog, you guys, I was gonna unbox one box, which is this one. But man, I'm so stoked I got this one. Uh, good buddy of mine dropped it off, surprised me. He says, uh, I'm gonna love it. And uh, I really don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But he says for the GTR, so we're gonna find out today. Set. Uh, the only thing is, you're gonna have to stick around to the end. And uh, we'll open it up and hopefully uh, we'll do the install today. But let's get right into it, you guys. So any of you GTR R35 guys know what is inside this box? I'll give you one clue. Like I said before, this is one component that every GTR needs, whether you track it or you don't. Well, every car is gonna, that GTR is gonna get tracked. But this will help you keep the car cool. Do you know what it is? Leave a comment below, you guys. There you go, you guys. It's the uh, HKS transmission oil cooler, of course, made in Japan, you guys. Out. Packaging some aluminum tubes. Let me try this. AN fittings, of course. Nice, you guys. Let me set that down here. Actually, it's right here. Honestly, this is so awesome, you guys. It's like Christmas. Christmas in April right now? Yeah, April. Look at that. Well, obviously, you guys, is the cooling duct. So we're gonna... This is gonna go over here, guys. Like this. Like this. Yeah, that's so sick, you guys. Well, actually, sorry, sorry, you're over here, over here. What am I doing? What am I doing? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that tit. I don't know what it is made out of. I don't know. I think it's fiberglass. It looks like fiberglass, anyways. But too bad it's not carbon fiber. But yeah. Let's put that there. Right, you got two rubber hoses definitely made in Japan you guys because uh, in North America it's not girthy enough <laughs> just kidding just kidding <laughs> don't be getting uh, all the hate comments you guys just kidding okay let's see, let's see what else is next more uh, hard lines beautiful aluminum hard lines look at that you guys Absolutely beautiful. Of course, another one. Not too sure where all this stuff goes until I figure it out, you guys. More AN fittings. Let's lay it over here. Packaging. They, they, they pack it up pretty good, you guys. So. Nothing gets damaged. HKS parts. So, tie straps. Of course, plastic. 
HKS loves using these. If you guys use uh, their um, air filters and stuff like that, they use this so that no uh, vibrations and no rubbing. Let's put that here. Looks like rubber grommets, um, washers, and gaskets, o rings. I'm not sure what this rubber band is for yet. Kind of unique. And your washer fluid reservoir. Let me just put you guys down here. Beautiful. Look at the welds, you guys. Just absolutely stacking dimes for sure. Look at that. Made in Japan, you guys. Definitely made in Japan. Beautiful how they just stamped it here. Just nice. Gorgeous, you guys. So I just went ahead and put it all back in here so that we're pretty organized. So when we're ready to install, we know where everything goes. Let's see what else we have in here. Classic, classic, classic HKS purple. Look at that, just a gorgeous, beautiful purple. Steel braided lines. The crappy thing is, all this stuff is like absolutely gorgeous, you guys, but it's all behind the bumper and you can't see it. A lot of the AMS stuff, same thing, just absolutely gorgeous, you guys, but it's a shame that you can't see it, eh? But yeah, four steel braided lines. Set that here. One more box. So this, so the factory transmission oil cooler uses a um, water to oil, which is um, the radiator fluids, cools down the oil for the transmission. Where this one uses oil to oil, and, oh sorry, oil to air. So it goes through the auxiliary uh, radiator and goes to the oil, cools it down. And uh, so basically two, two coolers for the transmission. You got your factory one and you got your auxiliary one here. Let me just open this up for you guys. Same part number. HK stamp on it. Gorgeous, eh? Beautiful. All your aluminum brackets. I think these are aluminum too. All your brackets. <laughs> you even wrote genuine parts. Of course, your instruction manuals. We're gonna have to go by the pictures, you guys, because I can't read Japanese. And this little one, I don't know what it is. Insulation must be done by a professional. Insulation must be done by a professional. We're professional. And of course, and it says don't use a knife. All right, so we're gonna use a knife. I think it says don't use a knife. Last piece, and of course, show you guys this one over here yeah. the radiator
just something about an unboxing, you guys. It's just, just that unboxing therapy. It just feels so, just, just a fantastic feeling when you get to open up all the new parts and it just a lot of surprises because you just don't know what's inside, like what the components are. And on top of that, it just when HKS makes just beautiful parts and just top notch quality. The only thing I kind of wish they did was they put a stencil like HKS stencil or their logo on the actual radiator itself. Even though I know we'll never see it because it's just hidden inside that air dock and it's pretty dark in there. But for guys like me, where half of the season my bumper's off and I'd love to show it off to my customers when they come in or to you guys, you know, where a lot of us don't have the bumpers off to appreciate a lot of the, the, the goodness that the car has. And uh, that's why the channel brings it to you guys. And if you guys are enjoying it and loving this channel, you guys, please hit that subscribe button, turn on all the notifications and uh, follow along with me. And yeah, would love you guys to support. All right, you guys, so for you guys that are like track junkies or love the Tractor GTR, the HKS or just any transmission oil cooler is a must have. And it's just gonna save you guys from limp molds and stuff when you're on especially hot days or if you live in an area that is pretty hot, yeah, you, you have to get it, you guys, or it's just gonna overheat. And it's, it's a known problem. If you push your GTR to its limits, it will overheat and you're just gonna go into limp mode and just won't enjoy that track day. So just go ahead and get it. It's a, it looks like it's a pretty straight bolt-on and it's HKS makes their stuff pretty, pretty good to install, you guys. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. See you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.